Welcome back, guys. Just uh, doing a bit of fiberglassing for the flush mounts. I'm going here. This is the mold I made. I'll go in there like that. I'm going to fiberglass them now just to so get a nice edge rather than on the foam. Nice clean edge. And also doing the end caps for the rod holders just so the water doesn't come down and fill up, fill up the foam. Not that it will fill the foam up, but just in case. Stop any water getting in there. Now to get these moulds, just cut the first one. It's just a 45 straight cut. And then I made this with the jigsaw. So you cut on the 45. And just jigsawed around and then sanded it out. it so it doesn't stick to the wood so I can peel it off. Do that now.
Just want to smooth these out. It's not too critical because it's going to be inside the hull anyway. It's more just to stop the water. Found pushing down on the 45 there, sort of pushing all the air bubbles out. Let that sit. Give them a sand. Sand them off. And same with these. Let that sit. And then we'll cut along here and clean them up. Ready to go in the thing. In the skiff. Now, once it's set. Give it a couple of hours in the in the sun. Uh, run around with the chisel. Just done this one already. Just, they'll pop out eventually. sit in there real nice and then not flush and then yeah once you get them out just get them out trim off all the rough edges and then should have a perfect flush mount accessories and then obviously when I fiberglass the top of the gunnel, I'll put another probably two layers over the top of that to give it some strength to hold the screws. So yeah, I just got one more five inch to do for the sounder. And then the next, that's pretty much it now until the next video will be fiberglass in the footwell of the skiff where I'm going to stand and the storage area up the front so if you want to see that uh, hit subscribe and I'll show you there